In today's video, I will be making several different home decor DIY pieces, one of which is great for storage. I'll be showing you how you can kind of amp up your gift giving abilities, and I'll be sharing with you some really awesome crafting hacks. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney. If you love all things DIY and crafting on a budget, you are in the right place. Today I've grabbed some Dollar Tree supplies and I'm whipping up some really fun DIYs. Thank you to Sherbonder for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get crafting. For this DIY, you want to pick up some of the Dollar Tree wooden trays. Now how many you pick up depends on how large you want to make this display. We're making a faux apothecary cabinet, which could either be used for storage or it could be used to display with the different seasons. And then you also need some of these trim pieces is what I'm calling them. This is the larger one. Dollar Tree has a couple different sizes. This is the big one. Now we are working with wood and because I'm kind of an instant gratification girl, I don't know if you are that as well, we're going to be using Sherbonder's wood hot glue. That's right. They have a specific glue stick made for working with wood. Now you can kind of tell the color difference here. It's got a little bit more of a yellow tint, which makes it easy to identify when you are working with their other glues. But this is really nice because it sets up so fast. And so what I'm going to do is I've decided to make my configuration three by three. So I'm using a total of nine and I'm just going to start by gluing three together three together, three together, and then gluing them all together, all using that wood hot glue. And while I'm working, putting these together, I did want to quickly point out, I am using the full size cordless glue gun. I know 99% of the time I use the little cute turquoise and pink detail tip, but in case you don't know about this, and I don't talk about it quite often, is these glue guns have these kind of little wings or what I call them. And you guys, I you, you see me do it all the time. I just set my glue gun down on the work surface. Those wings, A, help protect the work surface, and they help keep the glue kind of flowing towards the tip of the glue gun instead of like backlogging back. So um, just a little feature of the glue gun that I definitely wanted to point out. And like I said, this is the full size, um, but I, you guys know I also love my detail tip. Here it is all glued together, all nine trays. Now I need to take the trim pieces and mark where I need to trim those down. Now, I ended up taking three of these and I just went outside to my workshop and I did use my miter saw. Now, if you don't have a power tool, have no fear because I ended up deciding that I needed a top piece to cover up the holes of the tray. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to try to do these with my miter shears and see if I can do it. You can do it. But <laughs> uh, go in with a lot of patience and just take your time. Really uh, use your hand muscles. You can definitely make it do. I'm sorry I didn't record it. I should have, but I honestly didn't think it was going to work because this wood piece is kind of thick. But guess what? I'm telling you right now, you can totally cut it with your miter shears. Here is where you're going to put your own spin on this project. You can stain it, you can paint it, you can leave it natural. Originally, I was going to do something kind of colorful and then use this in my craft room for storage, but then I decided to go ahead and stain it. So I'm just using some of the Verithane Early American stain, and I started by staining the trays. I also stained my trim pieces before I took them outside and cut them, and then when I brought them back in, I just quickly stained that little end that was exposed. Let's finish this piece up. Now you want to grab those trim pieces and we're going to, again, using that wood hot glue, we're going to glue those three trim pieces down. Don't forget, I did end up doing one on the very top of my little display here just to cover up those holes that were at the ends of the trays on the top. From there, I took my uh, little package of nameplates. I got these on Amazon. They have several different finishes. This is the antique gold, I believe. It comes with the screws. Everything you see in today's video will be linked down below in the description box. If you have questions about stuff I'm using, please feel free to ask in the comments. And I just pre-poked a little hole so that I could easily screw these screws in. They actually went in really easily. This wood was pretty soft. Once those nameplates were all attached, and like I said, I just eyeballed it. I did not precisely measure out where they should go. Um, you can add labels if you want to, or if you just want to leave them open, you can do that as well. Now for hanging it, here are my recommendations. If you're just going to set it on, obviously on a counter or the bookshelf, you don't need to worry about this. But if you do want to hang it up on a wall, my recommendation would just be to use the 3M Velcro picture hanging, but I would use four of them, one on each corner. That's what I'm going to do because I'm thinking I'm going to put this in my son's room for his room makeover, but totally up to you on how you want to hang it. You could definitely add picture hangers, the little metal 
sawtooth hangers on the back if you'd rather do that as well. But I think the Velcro uh, hangers are the way to go. Moving into this spring theme DIY, I need to bust out my glue skillet, which most of the time in my videos, I call it my glue pot, but the technical name is a glue skillet. And Sherbonder has a really cute pink one and a green one, along with the little pellets you need to melt down. If you work with florals at all, seriously, this thing is a game changer. Now here's a quick glue gun hack though. You know how I love to work with the colored glue sticks? Well, one thing I do when you guys ask me, what do you do with all that extra glue when you're changing colors? Do you waste it? One thing I do is I just blob it up and remelt it down in my glue skillet. So there's a little hack for you, but definitely if you love to work with florals, consider checking this thing out. For this project, you want to pick up one of these three packs of the metal rings. Which size ring you use is totally up to you. I'm going to use the smaller metal ring and then one of these wooden cubes from Dollar Tree as well. To get the metal ring secured to the wooden block, I'm just going to take two of the tumbling tower blocks that were stained from a previous project. I'm just reusing them. Mark off where I want that first one to go. And then I'm going to use the wood hot glue again since I'm going wood to wood. Glue my metal ring and then press that other tower block down again using that wood hot glue. I had one of these lighted fairy lights that had the little leaves on them, which I thought would be perfect for this little centerpiece. And I started just by wrapping around. It fit perfectly on there. I was able to use the entire thing. And then on the kind of the base where the tower blocks are, I did take that fairy light strand and just secure it with a little bit of hot glue on there just to make sure it won't move around. And now comes the fun part. We get to add all of our florals and greenery. So all of the flowers and the greenery I'm using, they all came from Hobby Lobby at some point. And then I'm just easily dipping it in my glue skillet, placing it. If you're some kind of like floral ninja, you could do both hands going at once. Like it really makes it so much easier to use this uh, glue skillet. Now you could definitely do this for all kinds of seasons. I'm making this one for my daughter's graduation party as some decor, but you could do a Christmas version. I mean, so many different options. You could add little Easter eggs into this to make it a little more Eastery or cross if you wanted to. You could do a patriotic one. Again, so many options, add in little wood cutouts, like tons of ideas to take this just basic concept of a metal ring and a wood block and make it your own. So definitely a fun piece to make and really pretty when you display it. Here is an easy way to dress up a vase. So this came from Dollar Tree. You could grab any vase you wanted to. This one's actually going to kind of go along with my little floral scene. But again, any size vase that you want. I'm going to be using some of the gold colored glue sticks from Sherbonder. And um, a quick little hack here. If you like to do wax seals, if you have graduation or a wedding coming up, you can squirt this colored glue down, put your stamp in it and get a wax seal that way. Now, earlier I was talking about the extra color chain. So here it, there was a little bit of silver left in my glue gun. I'm just going to squirt it out. I'll set that aside and I can remelt it in my glue skillet. So like, that's what I do. I literally just make a blob and then set it aside. So I started off making my life really hard by trying to hold the glass thing and spin around. And then I realized, Courtney, grab your lazy Susan and spin right round, spin right round. So that's what I did. It made it so much easier just to literally hold the glue gun and spin, 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 spin. And then I left it to where it's the, some of the glass was showing through so that I could add fairy lights. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to add flowers to it, but it definitely the gold and the lights in there really make it look nice. And I absolutely love how it turned out.
I've had this bag from Dollar Tree in my stash for I don't even know how long. They came to my store like at Christmas time and I have been dying to make it over. I'm going to a baby shower, but I, I want to give her something. Her, I want her bag to be special. So I'm going to make this a little bit more snazzy. So I've grabbed some of the Surebonder fabric glue sticks because I'm going to be working kind of fabric to fabric and these are perfect for that. So I'll be using those and some of this floral ribbon that I had in my stash from Hobby Lobby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ribbon and I am going to glue it to the top of the bag just to give it this really pretty trim. Super easy. I'm going to start by gluing the very top. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to need to uh, glue the top and bottom of the ribbon. And ultimately in the end, I decided not to glue the bottom because it really, I just felt like it didn't need it. And so I just tacked it at the very top with that glue. I did want to add a bow to my bag, so I'm just going to piece it together. The easiest way to do that is I cut a strip of the ribbon and I made a little loop, cinched it in, glued it, you know, did the little piece across that and then cut the tails. Another question I get asked often a lot, or often a lot, <laughs> get asked often is, how many glue guns do you actually have? Okay, so I do actually have a lot of glue guns. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a separate glue gun for every separate type of glue you work with. But because I work with the fabric glue, the wood glue, the color glue sticks so often, I just personally prefer to have designated glue guns for those. And most of them are the detail tip. Um, I do have some of the full size for some of those, but I really, like I said, the detail tip is just my absolute favorite because you can kind of control how much glue actually comes out. So once I got the bow all done, I just glued it all together and glued that down. The finishing touch here is I had thought about um, maybe adding like a vinyl decal or something to it but I really didn't want to overwhelm the bag so I just took a few of these little florals that I had again they came from Hobby Lobby and just added those in and now I've got this really cute gift bag that if she wants to use it for some other cute little bag she can certainly use it as well kind of gets a dual purpose And that wraps up this video. There was a little bit of everything in here. Let me know which one of these projects was your favorite. Also, let me know if you have a really good glue gun hack like the ones I shared today. I'm working on a really fun video and I'm gonna be doing something kind of different. And so if you've got a hack and I don't have it on my list, I would love to give you a shout out in that video. Also, Surebonder has compiled all of my favorites and provided me with my own kind of link to their website, which when you click on the link, it will open up my own little page that has all of the products that you guys continue to see me use, that you continue to ask me about all in one place, which is really awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Here are some more videos that you might enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.